Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion. It is Friday. It is August 6th. Uh, we're looking at uh, important words in the Bible. And well, we're going to look at one today that many of you struggle with, and that's anxiety. Uh, it's something being, being over anxious. Good morning, Mary. <clears throat> Uh, being over anxious, it was interesting. What years ago, when we had problems, I I remember asking the church uh, how many of them suffer from anxiety, depression, um, bipolar, and it was amazing. Well, over half of the church raised their hands, and some that just totally surprised me. That I had no idea that they struggled with this. So many people <coughs> struggle with it. Some of the symptoms are constant worry, uh, panic attacks, uh, difficult sleeping, uh, even nausea, shortness of breath. Um, do, you, do, do you have any of these symptoms? Uh, is it possible that you suffer from anxiety? Good morning, Christina. Uh, there's ways that we can manage it according to med medical uh, having a healthier lifestyle. They say that diet has a lot to do with it, a poor diet. Uh, lack of exercise has a lot to do with it. Uh, uh, bad self-image has a lot to do with it. Um, uh, when you when you start breaking interaction with family and friends, when you st when you when you re recluse yourself more, that has a lot to do with it. Um, it, it it's it's one of the most common disorders, uh, mental diseases that there is. It affects 40 million people in the United States, 20% of the population, 20%. Uh, and, and it's usually accompanied with, uh, with depression. Now, I'm going to share something with you that I know that just seems too simplistic. Uh, but, it, but I don't know how else to, 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 to help you with it. Uh, it's kind of like that young lady that I knew that was a, grew up in my youth group that just had her 18-year-old daughter shot senselessly in a movie theater. Uh, it would have been easy for her and her husband to just give up all hope. But here she is on social media sharing scriptures that she's, that she's holding on to during this terrible time in her life. She, she's, she's reliant on God. Now, now, granted, she has family and friends around her. That, that showed when there were so many people that showed up to the to this memorial service. Uh, so she has plenty of family, plenty of friends. Uh, still has her husband and her other two children. But she's also relying on the Lord. And that is just so important. So important. I'm going to read a whole bunch of scriptures here for you. <coughs> so if you struggle from anxiety... Uh, Maybe God will speak to you here this morning. So let me start. Psalm 23, 4 says, Even though I walk through the valley of, of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Here's Daniela walking through the shadow of death. Her, her, her daughter taken away from her senselessly. And he says, even though I walk in that valley, uh, I know that you are that you are still with me, that you that you didn't abandon me. And in Psalm one one thirty nine twenty three, it says, "This search me, O God, know my heart, test and know my anxious thoughts." God knows your anxious thoughts. God God's aware of your anxiety. Come on, Alicia, <coughs> God is aware of your anxiety. God knows what you're struggling with. He can read your thoughts. He's not unaware. Proverbs 12, 25 says this, An anxious heart weighs a person down, but a kind word cheers them up. When, when, you, when you're going through anxiety, don't make the mistake of becoming a recluse and turning inward, because that's what many people do. They, they turn inward then. When, when you're suffering from anxiety, that's the time to turn outward. Because a kind word, a kind word will, will cheer you up. Uh, that's when you need to rely on, on friends. Isaiah 40.31 says this, 
But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary. They will walk and not grow faint. If you just try to fight anxiety and depression on your own, chances are you're going to lose. But when you are willing to trust and rely on the Almighty God, even though it's hard, I know it's hard, uh, it's hard to turn to him in these times, but when you do, th that's your source of strength. In 41, in 41, in 41, 10, it says this, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Do you hear that? Let me read it again. If you suffer from anxiety, hear this. Do not fear. God says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What an incredible promise. And then Jeremiah 17, 7 tells us this. But blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. When you put your trust in God, you can make it. You can make it then. John 14.1 tells us this. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me, Jesus says. During those times, trust in God. Why? Well, listen to this. You're all familiar with these verses, but let me read it to you again anyway here. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will, able to, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, nothing can separate you from the Lord. Anxiety, depression will not separate you from the Lord if you, allow, if you don't allow it to. In fact, he will be there to help you through it. 1 Corinthians 7.32 tells us this. I'm going to find it here. Right here. I would like you to be free from all concern. It says, I would like you to be free from all concern. That's God's desire for you. And in, in, in Philippians 4, 6, it tells us this, Do not be anxious about anything. By prayer or petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The mistake that we make when anxiety comes on us, when we start getting depressed, is we, is we, we turn away from people. We turn away from God. We, 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 just, we, we, we look inward, which is, which is suicide. It's, you, you, you can't beat it. God says, come to him. Talk to him. Talk to him because he, he because he, he cares for you. In Hebrews 13, 6, he tells us this. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. And then in, finally in 1 Peter 5, 7, he tells us this. Cast all your anxiety on him. Because he cares for you. Hear that? Cast all your anxiety on Jesus because he cares for you. No one, no one cares for you as much as what Jesus, what God does. Sure, your friends care about you, don't your family cares about you, but they're not always there for you. They're not, they don't always understand. But Jesus, God says, I understand, I understand, and I am there for you. Come 
to me, Jesus says. Amen. So if you suffer from anxiety, if you suffer from depression, if you suffer from bipolar, from any of those things, the Lord is there to help you. He loves you. He loves you. He cares about you. He wants to, the scripture says, there isn't anything that you've gone through that he hasn't gone through also. He suffered great anxiety when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane looking to what, how he was going to suffer and die. What did he do? He spent all night talking to the Father. He was discouraged with his disciples because they kept falling asleep. But he stayed up talking to his Father because he knew that's where his strength was. That's where your strength is. God bless you. Have a great day. I uh, hope to see many of you again tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. You can beat that depression and anxiety. Amen.